Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the Sony Z150 and tripod setup. We'll start with setting up the tripod. Take the tripod out of its bag along with the mounting plate that should be in the bag as well. The mounting plate can be set aside for now. Unfold the tripod so that the legs completely extend. Next, loosen the bottom wing nut on each of the tripod's legs until gravity or one of your camera assistants causes the legs to fully extend. Remember to tighten the nuts after doing this. Place the tripod on the floor and ensure that it is even and will not wobble. Toward the bottom of the tripod, there is a brace that is connected to each leg. There are three nuts that you should tighten. Doing this will help prevent the tripod from falling over or moving while operating it. To level the tripod, twist the handle underneath the top mount of the tripod until you can easily tilt it in every direction. To adjust the handle used for panning and tilting the camera, loosen the nut located near the handle. This allows you to move the handle freely. Once you have adjusted it to a comfortable position, retighten the nut. Keep in mind that over-tightening can cause damage to the tripod. To adjust the pan and tilt of the tripod, look to the side opposite the side handle. There are two wing nuts, one for pan and one for tilt. Loosen and tighten these until you can smoothly pan and tilt using the side handle. Now it's time to attach the mounting plate to the camera and mount it to the tripod. Line up the screw on the mounting plate with the front hole on the bottom of the camera. Also make sure the arrow on the mounting plate is pointing towards the front of the camera. Tighten the screw until the plate is firmly attached to the bottom of the camera. To mount the camera, first loosen the nut on the tripod that locks the camera adapter plate in place. After doing this, you should be able to slide the camera onto the top of the tripod. Make sure to not place the camera too close to the front or back of the tripod. Once it's balanced, retighten the nut. Always double check that the camera is securely attached. A good way of doing this is by grabbing the top handle of the camera and lifting the entire assembly off of the ground. This ensures the camera is solidly mounted to the tripod. To prevent disasters from happening while away from the camera, remember the phrase, Lock it before you leave it. Place the battery into the big empty slot in the back of the camera. The battery should slide all the way to the back of the slot and then you'll want to push it down until you hear a click, which tells you that the battery is locked into place. Don't forget to insert an SD card into the slot on the back of the camera before you begin shooting. Now it's time to turn on the camera and adjust the setting. On off switch is located on the left. You should also format your SD card for use with the camera. To do this, go to the menu, toggle down to the bottom icon, then scroll down to media format and click the memory slot in which the SD card has been inserted. Following this, change the resolution, frame rate, and gain to the desired settings. To adjust file format, go to the menu. Here you can change the format to AVC HD. The recording format is also located under Record Out. The standard for our class productions is 1080-60i. To set the white balance, you will need a blank piece of unruled white paper. You want the piece of paper to be completely in frame. While the camera is focused on the paper, click the white balance button located on the left side of the camera at the bottom. Then click the white balance set button that is also located on the left side of the camera but towards the top. The button to adjust the gain is also located on the left side of the camera. If the gain is too high, the shot will be overexposed, but if the gain is too low, you will not be able to see your shot. Shutter affects how long the image is exposed. Increasing the shutter speed eliminates the possibility of blur. Ideally, it should be set at twice the speed of the frame rate. You can adjust this by clicking the shutter button on the left bottom of the camera. Manually adjusting the zoom and focus will help you achieve critical focus. Being critically focused means that the subject your lens is focused on is in the forefront of the shot and can be seen clearly. These rings are located at the front of the camera on the barrel of the lens. The front ring controls focus, and the middle ring adjusts the zoom. 
the back ring adjusts the aperture. Aperture regulates how much light enters the camera lens. Aperture is also referred to as f-stop. Increasing the f-stop makes the shot darker, while decreasing it makes the shot brighter. Near the top of the camera are two audio input connections that can be used with any sort of external audio device you need. You will just need an XLR cable that can be connected to both the camera and your external audio device. If recording with an external audio device, like a mixer, you should switch the audio input source to line. When using a microphone, set it to mic. If you're using a phantom power mic, set it to mic plus 48V. This switch is located on the left side of the camera. To test the audio levels, simply plug a pair of headphones into the auxiliary jack located on the back of the camera and listen. To adjust the zoom and focus, slide their respective lens barrel rings to desired position. When you are done with your shoot, take apart your setup in reverse order of how you assembled it. Power off the camera. Don't forget to remove your SD card and the camera battery. Remove any external audio devices you may have plugged into the camera. Detach the camera from the tripod and remove the mounting plate from the bottom of the camera. Return the camera to its bag along with any accessories, such as the battery, that were in the bag when you checked it out from the cage. Collapse the tripod down to its smallest form, then place it back in its respective bag along with the mounting plate. A great rule to follow is to return the equipment to the cage in the same way you received it.